Hey y'all, it's Sierra, aka Capricorn Moon Goddess, back with another video. This is a general reading for the collective, so you know the disclaimers. Take what resonates and leave what does not. Use your own discernment and intuition to determine which messages are for you. Let's get started because I want to make this quick. <laughs> we are using um, some... I guess you call them tarot tiles or something like that. They're like little dominoes that have tarot cards on them. So we're going to use these to start off the reading. What does the collective need to know and or focus on at this time? Okay, so we got the magician and the hanged man. <laughs> Two major arcana. I'm telling y'all, we're always getting major arcana when it comes to y'all. I guess I can zoom in. Okay, so let's see. There could be something that you're manifesting that is you feel like it's being delayed or it's not coming Um at the frequency it's not manifesting at the frequency you want it to or you could it's something that you may need to change your perspective on when it comes to trying to create or manifest something let's see what else comes out also you could be manifesting um trying to manifest that a delay or blockage is removed okay um, we have the two of, oh, is it in the thingy? We have the two of swords. And we have the hierophant. So, uh, for some of you, this delay that you're experiencing is divinely orchestrated. Something is not happening at the frequency you want it to because there's something you're not seeing. Okay, something that you're not seeing, some sort of force, blockage, condition that you're not seeing, that your divine source, whoever that is, is working on removing, clearing up something that's not favorable, something that you would not like or want. Um, I forgot to drink some water before I started this. Hold on. Because water helps <laughs> the intuition and it helps speaking so long on these videos so anyways um so your divine higher power sources uh angels ancestors whoever they are working to deal with something that you're not able to see that's related to something that you're trying to manifest so that's why it's not happening within the time frame that you want it to happen <clears throat> and let's see what else we have here <clears throat> okay we've got the judgment card and we got the sun card yay so that's one, two, three, four, five major arcana. We've also got the six of wands. Sorry, my phone is facing the opposite direction, so I can't find the viewfinder. So we've got the six of wands. This represents you are going to be victorious with manifesting whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you're trying to create, whatever goal you're trying to reach. You're going to get there, okay? But there's something that is not favorable um that's involved in the route that you're trying to take or something something is blocking your pathway right now but your your higher powers are working on removing this for you so this can be a easy transition because you are uh, this is for people who are walking in their purpose they're looking to walk in their purpose they're looking to do work that aligns with their purpose they're looking to manifest goals that align with their purpose their higher calling um things of that nature their life purpose their solar plexus if you are trying to manifest goals when it comes to that then you know you've done the work and you know you're in alignment and you know this should be a clear path 
Um, there could be forces working against you right now that your higher powers are handling. Okay. But we do have the four of wands. I'm feeling like turning my camera around <laughs> right now because it's really annoying me that the viewfinder is not where it usually is, but I'm gonna leave it alone. We got the four of wands, okay? So there is gonna be a reason for you to celebrate. We have the death card also. So yeah, your higher powers are looking to put an end to something, something, some sort of blockage, person, situation, energy is in the way and they're trying to remove this for you. They're trying to close out some sort of cycle. You could be closing out a cycle with a person um, and they just aren't having it. They're just not going for it. They're doing everything they can to try to hold on to your energy. So that could be causing these delays also. But your higher powers are on it. <clears throat> They are working on it for you, okay? Wow, we got the um, Ace of Swords. Five of Wands. Five of Cups. Nine of Swords and two of pentacles so yeah somebody is definitely trying to create havoc <laughs> they're trying to create havoc within your life they're trying to cause confusion um, they're trying to cause anxiety because or they're feeling confusion or anxiety because you finally let them go cut them off um but they're trying to create a situation to where you have so much going on that you cannot focus on your goals, manifesting your goals. They're trying to create frustration and anxiety within you. You may have an idea of who this person is. And for some of you, this is multiple people. You may have an idea, but you will be receiving proof. Some sort of confirmation is going to come to you at the right time. So right now you may have an inkling of who these people could be. Like I said, for some of y'all, it could be one person. For some of y'all, it's multiple people. For me, I don't know who it could be because there's so many people that have <laughs> a motive, okay? So many people have motive to not want me to be able to succeed. I don't know who is doing what, okay? Probably all of them. But y'all are going to get some sort of information that's going to like enlighten you to what caused these blockages that you're dealing with but you are going to get through them you're going to get you're going to get past them you're going to manifest what you're trying to manifest you are going to achieve whatever goal you're trying to achieve okay they can't stop you they can try to cause delays <laughs> but they cannot stop you All right, I think that's going to be it for the tiles today. Uh-oh, one of them fell out. So the one that fell out is the Seven of Pentacles. So they're just saying, I know you're tired of hearing this, but they're just saying be patient a little while longer. You are going to be able to um, have access to the fruits of your labor. But yeah, it's just going to take a little bit longer. Let me zoom back out. What else does the collective need to know at this time? Okay, that flew out. Three of Wands is representing your ships are definitely coming in. Don't make any hasty decisions off of emotion right now. You might be frustrated. You might be feeling like things aren't going your way. So you might be feeling like, F it. <laughs> F it. I'm just going to fall back into my old habits and my old ways. Um, don't do that. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to zoom this back to the right spot. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't make any emotional, hasty decisions, okay? Because you do have the Three of Cups 
uh, celebration is definitely coming in for you. Your ships are coming in. The number three could be important. Once again, we have the death card. We got the death tile. Now we have the death card. We got the hierophant tile. Now we got the hierophant card, okay? So this is re reinforcing that your higher powers, your higher sources are working to put it into whatever is causing this delay. Whatever is trying to cause you to be in this eight of swords, to be in this energy of anxiety. People want you to make rash decisions and irrational decisions based off of emotion. Do not let people put you into that position to where you're making a decision that you're going to regret later because it was based off anger or anxiety. Don't let people force you into making decisions out of fear. We got the chariot. Yeah. The chariot can represent cancer, okay? So keep your emotions in check. Cancer can represent emotions. Keep your emotions in check, okay? You are going to be proceeding. You are going to be moving forward. You're going to have everything that you've been wanting to have. But your emotional state is very important right now. You can feel the emotions that you have, but don't make decisions based on solely on emotion. Use your intuition and your intelligence also. I actually just got a book called Intuitive Intelligence. Um, so I'm excited to read that. We've got Ace of Wands. New opportunities coming your way, new creative ideas, new creative sparks. Um, your creative ideas coming to life and manifesting what you want. Once again, we've got the Two of Pentacles. We've got the Four of Wands again. Double confirmation, okay, that you are going to be celebrating something soon. You're going to be celebrating the achievement of a goal, the manifestation of something that you've been wanting to create, okay? We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Something that you have created, that you have manifested, is going to come to life, and it's going to put you in this Nine of Pentacles energy. But this is something that you did all by yourself. This is the Miss Independent, Mr. Independent card. This is something that you did by yourself that somebody else may possibly want to take credit for, or they don't want you to be enjoying all of this by yourself. They want to be included and involved, but they were not included with this Page of Pentacles. When you were the Page of Pentacles, and just learning how to manifest and just putting in the work to create this. They weren't there when you were the Page of Pentacles. Now you're graduating to the Nine of Pentacles. And they're like, hey, you're not trying to take me with you? Well, you was alone when you were the Page of Pentacles. And you're going to be alone when you collect this reward. And then you can find the people that resonate with you. Um, to share it with so yes yeah, someone we got the tower and knight of wands someone is trying to cause a tower <laughs> some people have already caused tower moments within your life trying to stop you and hold you back but you transmuted those tower moments into um opportunities for better things to come you used it to help you you used the momentum that energy to help you you took this tower being knocked down as okay a <laughs> Now my foundation has been cleared so I can build something even better on top of it. So, yeah. <laughs> but somebody with this Knight of Wands acting out of passionate anger here. They have a lot of anger or frustration or resentment built up. This could be a Pisces. You could have Pisces somewhere in your birth chart with this moon card, but the moon along with the page of cups. And then earlier we had the ace of wands or the ace of swords. That's letting we know this person is going to be revealed or these people are going to be revealed. You're going to get some information or some sort of message. Okay. That's going to reveal these people to you. Okay. Subconsciously, I feel like you already know who they are, but you may be waiting on some sort of concrete evidence or proof. Um, we got the fool card and the star card. Y'all always getting all the major arcana these days. So y'all could be Aquarius or have Aquarius somewhere in your birth chart, but you have a brand new start that's coming. Somebody is afraid for you to fully get into this full mode because they know it's over. It's done. You're not looking back. You didn't already got this far to take in that leap of faith and you're not going to be looking back. Okay. And it's going to benefit you. 
with this three of pentacles they wish they had worked with you they wish they had supported you because they want to be there to benefit now that you're in this queen of wands energy attracting everything that you want they want to be there to benefit from that we got the ace of wands <clears throat> that's why the major arcana keeps showing up because um major changes are coming and they're gonna they're gonna come swiftly once that domino effect is like initiated okay so things may be moving slow now but once you finally get to that last step that you need to get to or get through things are gonna happen as a domino effect very very quickly they know this the empress card i told you you created something something you created something you manifested some sort of baby you gave birth to figuratively okay and somebody is not happy about this so they're playing dirty you made it through regardless you made it through for some of you with this king of wands this is a business that you created For some of you, this is an ex-lover that could have been a philanthropist. What do they call it? Philanderer? A cheating man? <laughs> or a cheating woman, okay? But we got Queen of Wands, King of Wands. They want to be like a power couple now. Yeah. But you're like, no, I have options. <laughs> Seven of Cups, I have options. I'm not just stuck with you. I can get somebody better. They knew you could get somebody better all along, but you didn't know. But now that you know this and you know that they really didn't have your best interest at heart, you have your defenses up, you have your walls up. Some of these people are blocked on your phone, on your social media. You got a new number. They can't reach out to you in any way, shape, or form. Okay, this barrier is causing somebody from your past this protective barrier that you put up somebody from your past is freaking out <laughs> like i really lost access to them i don't have access to them anymore i can't convince them to take me back anymore like i really did like use the last straw or whatever they say <laughs> it really was the last straw that broke the camel's back or whatever like i don't think they ever thought they could get to this point they like you would get to this point where you were really really done but you are so you do have new love coming in you do have new love coming in emotional stability you have an emperor coming in See, um, you're like the king of wands and queen of wands is cool, but we also have the empress on here. So the empress and the emperor is even better than a king of wands and queen of wands. You're in your emperor, empress status, not your king or queen status, your emperor, empress status. So... <laughs> Like I said, this is causing them anxiety. You know who you are now. Not just them knowing who you are. You know who you are now. You at this very, very last step with this nine of wands. And this devil card, they trying to pull you back any way they can. You could also be a Capricorn or they could be a Capricorn. Yep, the world. Big changes coming. Big changes coming that are going to lead to emotional um stability for you emotional fulfillment this is about having more than enough you have more than enough this is also representing this greedy person <laughs> you were more than enough for them but they treated you like you weren't they treated you like an option so now you're like well i got options too guess what i have options too See, I was choosing to deal with you and put up with you and keep you in my life. But that was my choice. And now my choice is to keep you out of my life. Now my choice is to put up my barrier, my protective barrier. Now my choice is to cut those cords so you don't even have energetic ties to me anymore. You can't even telepathically communicate with me anymore. It's done. You have lost access. Access denied. <laughs> I just heard uh, T-Pain and Kanye welcome to the good life. <laughs> but they're not welcome. Like, 
I don't know, maybe that's your ancestor saying, finally you got the picture to get rid of this person. Now, welcome to the good life. Because, you know, things saying you're not going to be blessed when you're dealing with people that you've been warned spiritually to stop dealing with. Because those people don't deserve to be blessed by proximity to you. So, therefore, you block your own blessings. You don't even get what you're supposed to get because you got the wrong people around. So, now that you have cut the cords, welcome to the good life. Let me write that down. these last because they're more of like affirmation cards than oracle um but it's funny because it says space time in the self space time in the self people are don't know what to do now that you have decided to spend time with yourself to not let people in to to cut communication with people go into hermit mode uh some people that have always have ac have had access to you that have lost access to you they don't know what to do because they never had to deal with that meditative contemplative calm space right now probably because i just did a lot of research um and i don't know research does a few things for me because i'm like a geek <laughs> um it excites me it gives me energy but it also kind of like calms me down to where i'm not stressed or worried it puts me in a good mood. So I'm just feeling really like calm. Really calm right now. Really chill. I don't smoke, but I imagine maybe people feel like this if they smoke marijuana. <laughs> um, I cannot deal with smoke. I hate smoke because I have really bad allergies. Very sensitive to smell and things like that. But I don't know. I feel like I always have a natural high. Let me tell you something. She come out every time. I just got this deck. And Yamaya keep on coming out. Let me look her up. Like, I know, like, who she is and all. But I've never done a deep dive into, like, researching her. But, golly. <laughs> every time I pull cards from this deck, she comes out. Yamaya, origins, freedom, power. You've taken your freedom and your power back by cutting cords with people, being by yourself, standing in your power, letting people know that you know who you are, being confident in how powerful you are. Some of y'all weren't confident in displaying your power. Um... And you never really had to. I always say this in my readings. You have commanding energy. So you just walk into the room and command the energy. You don't really try. Um, but it's seen as a threat by a lot of people. So you feel the need to hold back. You feel the need to dull your shine. And some of y'all are starting to get to the point where you don't freaking care anymore. I don't care who feels bad about themselves and who projects um, their inferiority complex onto me and say that I have a superiority complex it's like you don't care you're embracing your beauty okay we've got beauty grace you're very graceful and regal so you don't brag a lot you don't boast a lot you don't do all of that but you are um standing in confidence you 
have accepted that, hey, you're better at some things than, you're better at a lot of things than <laughs> a lot of people. Let me stop trying to be modest. I feel like you're trying to be modest. You try to be very modest, but now you're like, whatever. I'm the ish. <laughs> I accept it now. The crane bag, sacred ocean medicine, clutter, declutter choice. I feel like you have chosen to declutter your life. And that includes getting rid of people. Same, a, a lot of this has the same storyline as I've been saying. Some of y'all were like, oh, that's funny that you're saying storyline. A lot of this is the same storyline, but what has changed is your confidence in your I don't give a f you you don't really care how people think right now you don't care whose feelings get hurt if you cut them off you didn't gave people the chances that you chose to give them the amount of chances what noise some cats I mean there is a black cat that I saw yesterday in the back like when I took out the trash. Yeah, I went to take out the recycling or something and it was black ass. I just went right by. I was like, oh, okay. Oh my God, y'all have supersonic hearing. It might be out in the backyard. I don't know. And I was gonna go out the garage, but the garage door down, but dang, I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, so anyway, if y'all wondering what that was, my mom was asking what that noise was. Um, her and my son think they hear like a cat, and I did see a black cat yesterday. Uh, when I went to take out the recycle, <laughs> there was a black cat that um, kind of like, I guess it was in the backyard. So in where I live, in the state that I live, the um, driveways are in the backyard because the garages are in the back. So, uh, and then there's alleys in the back too where you put the trash and stuff. So, yeah, there was, like, a black cat <laughs> in the, uh, gar what do you call it? The driveway. There's a cat in the driveway. So, it must be back, child. It must be black. It must be back. <laughs> but, anyway, some people think that those are good luck. So, maybe y'all got, that's confirmation of good luck. I don't know if y'all have cats or black cats or whatever. But we got the timeout card, so awareness, contemplation, solitude, time alone. Yeah, somebody is, some somebody is upset that you're spending time more time alone. Like you just don't care to be around people right now. You're in hermit mode, solitude. Did I hold up? Because I said the word contemplation earlier. This says contemplation. I said I'm in a very contemplative, like. I don't want to say sedated, but just the, like contemplative mode. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, you spending time alone is giving you time to think about some things. And that's why you really about to get this information about who been doing what. Who been secretly doing what. And somebody don't want you to get that information, okay? They don't want you to have too much time to think. Too much time to yourself to think when they're not around to kind of like make you either distract you or make you feel like you're crazy for thinking whatever you think fertility okay this is reinforced reinforcing the empress potential powerful creative energy initiation energy <laughs> i'm sorry i'm cracking up about this black cat still because i don't know how come my mom and my son were able to hear that <laughs> from all the way outside but anyway fertility Potential, powerful, creative energy, initiation energy. So you're in a very, very fertile space right now. Um, you are manifesting right now. 
that's probably why you are being guided to be by yourself because you don't want somebody coming in and implementing doubt into your mind right now okay we have corals wisdom colony delicacy fragility yeah you're in a very fragile state right now but not in a fragile state as far as you're weak but you're just in a fragile state where you're manifesting right now you don't need nobody to come in and mess it up okay works that are created over great periods of time yeah you you been working on this for a while remember we had the seven of pentacles you've been working on this cultivating something for a while working on a business for a while i'm trying not to sneeze Woo, don't sneeze <laughs> so um yeah it's finally coming something is finally on its way here we got vulnerability yeah that kind of is what i wanted to say with the fragility vulnerable not necessarily weak but vulnerable okay um open your heart allow yourself to be tender so even though you may have gone through a lot in the past that made you have to put barriers up for certain people you don't have to have barriers up for every single person because there's new people coming into your life that are in alignment with the things that you're manifesting for yourself and the type of relationships that you want so you don't want to have such a strong barrier that it keeps out what you want you want to be open enough to let in what you want okay keep out the bad but let in what you want okay you want to have a barrier up to be a filter but not to keep everything out transparency honest authentic genuine and present yes you have these type of people and relationships that are going to be um, coming in for you wow <laughs> Okay, we got experiments, manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge, arrogance. This is like the magician in reverse, trickster energy, people trying to do, send negativity your way. It's not going to work, not going to work, not going to work. This could be what your guides have been working against. Remember I said that earlier? Yeah, Song of the Siren, somebody trying to call you back into their space into their energetic space so they can have control over you they're trying to summon you it's not going to work endurance you're going to keep going without looking back we got water flight heaviness lifts burdens are cast away weightlessness oh by the way <laughs> you could be dealing with somebody that doesn't communicate well <laughs> that's what me and my mom were just talking about okay so yeah Y'all could have been dealing with people that did not communicate well, but we have a drift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Yes, this is what's causing the heaviness and the burdens to lift and be cast away. We got honor the masculine on the bottom, respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. So some of you, as much as the readings tend to lean towards <laughs> men who are trying to manipulate women. Some of you are men who have been manipulated by women as well, or maybe by other men, okay? But you all are learning to put up boundaries as well and to make sure you're being respected the way that you feel is being respected, not just the way uh, the women in your life feel or the feminine energies in your life feel mm, I'm wondering because I've been working on this masculine deck I don't think I'm gonna use it yet I'm not gonna use it yet because I'm not done I'm not done with the cards but I've been like there aren't any good decks with masculine messages so i was like i'm just gonna have to <laughs> create my own so yeah i'm trying to see if i want to go ahead and get some messages from here since the respect the masculine card came out even though it's not finished we got barbershop safe space well-groomed gossip camaraderie so yeah uh 
any masculine energies listening to this, this could resonate with you if you're a person that's very well groomed. Okay, you like to take care of yourself. You may like to spend time in the barber shop. We got monster in law. Some of you have a mother in law that's not respecting you. Maybe they always in your business all the time. So you're teaching them how to respect boundaries and not be meddling mother in laws. Ooh, we got wiretap, secret recordings, ear hustling, informant, people going back, telling information that you may tell them. Might be somebody around you that you cannot trust, okay? Or somebody could have been secretly recording you. Four kings. You all are four kings, which is basically the emperor card. You have emotional intelligence. You're financially secure. You're intellectual. You're very creative, very well-rounded. So I'm talking to masculines that are very well-rounded. Militant, imposing, rigid, <laughs> dictator. This is right under the, the monster-in-law. So some of y'all have a mother-in-law that is very uh rigid that thinks she is running things thinks she is running the house your household your your household she thinks she's running your household not just hers but yours okay <laughs> get out oh let me find out that she lived with you let me find out that you have in-laws that live with you and you don't want them to live with you <laughs> but you might be feeling like the pressure to to make your spouse happy some of y'all are in a dangerous fatal attraction type of connection, okay? This is for the masculine energy. Some of y'all are dealing with a gold digger or have been. We have you are on the right path, confirmation to keep going, trust the process, divine plan, push through. We have abuse is not okay, even for a man or a male. No one has to take abuse. So yeah, y'all might be dealing with psychological abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, financial abuse, or physical abuse. Okay? We have retaliation. This could be a retaliation to you wanting to leave, to get out of a situation. You might be afraid of how someone may retaliate. Somebody around you has unreasonable expectations. Motorcycle club. Some of you may be a part of a motorcycle club or you may like motorcycles. You may be a daredevil. We have boots on the ground. Some of you could be in the military or you just do a lot of physical work or you're the type of person that stands behind what you say. Like you put your money where your mouth is, you will work. Um, you don't have a problem with working, okay? We have control your anger. You do need to control your anger and try not to allow somebody to put you in a situation where you could be in trouble. Car wash, cleansing, good steward summer day so you are a good steward over your the things that you buy the things that you own you take care of them and you take care of yourself you're a very clean person you could need an energetic cleansing though this could have started happening in the summer some of y'all are dealing with a fake guru it could be a fake guru that's jealous of you, that's spreading lies. We have get a checkup, preventative care. Some of y'all need to make sure you're going to the doctor more office, more office, more often. <laughs> Go to the doctor more often, okay, to make sure, you know, if there's any preventative care that could prevent something more long-term happening you're getting that taken care of like high blood pressure things of that nature we have when someone is fed up y'all fed up with some with somebody y'all are fed up with somebody and y'all are ready to leave and it's funny because me and my mom was just watching something about Jeannie Mai and Jeezy and it was just like <laughs> everybody's talking about how he just divorced her like he she seemed like he was like I'm done I'm not doing no second chances nothing I'm leaving and everybody was talking about how 
men usually don't initiate divorces, but I feel like you're initiating this breakup or the end to this relationship or marriage or whatever. Clash of the love languages. Yeah, y'all just don't have the same love languages. Y'all don't understand each other's love language. <laughs> Or maybe you do understand each other's love language, but it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work for y'all. We have gains. You could be a very muscular person, um, but you're looking for things that supplement, that add to your life, okay? You're looking to, to gain things that are beneficial, broken promises this person may promise a lot of things and they don't hold up their end of the bargain they don't follow through you're tired of being let down and disappointed leverage your skills there's some sort of skills that you have that you can use to make money okay uh, a lot of our skills we can use to barter with them or we can use them to make money we can use them to teach people we can use them for side hustles whatever so leverage your skills we have expose like some of y'all your ex is like recording your conversations um they got screenshots they threatening to tell all your business some of you may be afraid of success, so that could be causing delays. We got bid, which could be jail time, so please don't do anything that can land you in jail. Somebody could be threatening to tell some information that could land you in jail. This could also represent construction, like putting a bid in for construction. So maybe you are a construction builder, roofer, um engineer something like that or maybe you have these type of skills and you can use those skills to get ahead Don't be so hard on yourself. You are your toughest critic. Not this turn into a divine masculine reading. We got screenshots. Somebody is taking screenshots of your conversation. So be careful what you say to people and how you say it. Don't give people evidence. <laughs> don't give people evidence to use against you. My, my rule is I don't say anything to anyone, whether it's verbal or in writing that I would be afraid for them to repeat or afraid for it to come back out, that I would not be able to defend and stand behind, okay? So just don't even tell people information that you don't want to get out because it's one thing when you trust somebody and you're in a good space with somebody, it's another thing when y'all are not in a good space and that you'll be surprised how people turn. <laughs> You'll be surprised, okay? So, yeah, somebody is trying to wreak havoc. And they and their mom might be helping them do it. They could have a toxic mother <laughs> that helps them with the foolishness. That probably taught them the foolishness. So, yeah. And if you have kids with them, that's something that could be um, generationally passed down or whatever through the bloodline. So, yeah, you're going to have to break away, learn how to do shadow work, all that. So that you can teach your kids one day if they need it. We have the stand. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're taking a stand against people. And this is for the collective, not just the divine masculine. Uh, number 40, the stand. You could be 40 years old. This is talking about courage, determination, fearlessness. You're okay standing on your own. We got the trinity, balance, decisions, priorities, adapting to change. Some of y'all um, are having to adapt to change, okay? 
Um, but you'll be able to do it. Okay, you have the right instincts and intuition to be able to do it. We have 35 specters, discernment, critical thinking, insight. So I just said you have the discernment and intuition to be able to do it. Critical thinking skills, okay. Specters, I don't know if this has anything to do with spectating, but it's reminding me of spectating. And like I said, somebody is um, recording what you do. Um, and it doesn't mean video recording. It could be taking screenshots. Recording is just keeping a record, okay. Keeping a record of what you do, watching you. Even trying to spiritually spy, we have prudence, self-assurance, integrity, clear-minded. Remain in this prudent energy, self-assured, confident, continue to act with integrity. Somebody wants to make you act outside of that so they can try to get you caught up or they can try to throw you off your path. We have time, planning, making decisions, taking risks. All the time you took to make the plans that you made, like I said, to cultivate your garden, it's going to pay off. Nest, charity, generosity, gratitude. Hmm. The pack, inner work, deep connection, soul tribe. I told y'all earlier you're going to meet your soul tribe, attract your soul tribe. Fate, alignment, decisive moments, opportunistic events. So this is like serendipity here. Like I said, there's going to be some sort of domino effect that's going to, some something is going to trigger a domino effect. And that domino effect is going to be a series of serendipitous events and moments where things just align exactly how they need to for you to get what you're needing and what you're wanting. We got flight 28. Look, we have nest and then we have flight. I was wondering why the why is nest here? What the heck? Okay, so you're a bird that's about to take flight out of a nest, a nesting period, being by yourself, being in hermit mode. You're about to take flight and it says opportunity, prosperity, and new venture. You've got beloved, love, reciprocity, intertwinement. So yeah, new loving relationships coming. We have uncover, nostalgia, sentimentality, memory. I feel like somebody wants you to remember the times where y'all were in love and everything was working out just fine. But I feel like you don't even care. You don't care. Those are just memories now. It's not the reality. It's a memory. Yeah, with this owl, you're acting with wisdom, okay? Um, like I said, those are memories, not reality. It, the reality of the situation is not the same as it used to be. So you're using your wisdom, your independent thinking, and your enlightenment, the things that you're learning about, you're using those to make your decisions. You're not just making using nostalgic moments and the the hope that you can get back to that place with somebody. You're not just using that to make your decisions. We've got crossed choices, searching for purpose, daydreaming. Yes, yeah, some of you are wondering if you're walking in your purpose, and you are. Prosperity, wealth, contentment, abundance. Okay, you're going to be more than content, though, for sure. But the contentment kind of goes with gratitude, always being looking at the brighter side and being happy. Remember, I said you're a good steward. Okay, being happy and taking care of the things that you have, um, that is causing you to manifest more than you could need and want. We got blood moon at the bottom, illusion, uncertainty, and narcissism. I told y'all somebody wants you to be uncertain right now. Um, so that's why it was saying you're in a very sensitive, vulnerable state because you are manifesting exactly what you want, but, um, somebody wants to come in and create doubt. Now let's use some of these <laughs> to 
because we were talking, we were dealing with the the masculine for a while. Then we kind of went back to the collective. So let's use some of these. They have a little bit more feminine energy for the feminine energies that are watching. We've got. <laughs> Why would I say feminine energy? The witch come out. I'm done. The witch. I wasn't always like this, you know. I had to create who I am. The witch, creatress, lotus flower, free will. Okay, so you're using the spiritual tools that you've learned to create the life that you want. And some people may feel like you have it easy. And you're like, no, I don't have it easy. I had to literally work to get to this point. We've got liberation. Just let me be. Free spirit, wild, authentic. Y'all really are having people trying to hold on to your energy. This is crazy. You just have to keep like telling people to leave you alone and showing people with your actions that you don't want to be bothered and they refuse. Like they refuse to let it go. Sheesh. Magic mushroom miracles fairy energy opening up. Stay open. Did I did I not say this earlier? Did I not say this earlier? Stay open to the good and beautiful things. We've got to be there, okay? Ocean energy. Um, but yeah, stay open because your roads are opening up if they're not already open. So at any moment, you could get what you're you're asking for, but you have to be open enough to be able to recognize it and accept it and let it in, okay? It's time to come home, goddess of the sea, abundance. <laughs> if we get abundance one more time, okay? Abundance, purification, ego. Blessings and curses. Do not be ashamed not of your thorns or your flowers and you may say why would i be ashamed of my flowers remember i told y'all some of y'all are trying to be too modest um people you learned early enough that people can be threatened by your flowers okay um so you've learned to try to hide them okay so yeah You've, you're having to learn self-love, beauty, psyche. This is why people can be universally considered beautiful by a majority of people. Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But there are some people that pretty much everybody would say is pretty or beautiful or handsome. Even those people can have insecurities, okay? Because sometimes their looks can be a threat to other people and they learn to hate their looks. So you all could be going through something like that. Um, don't worry, darling, you'll find your way. The red rose, overcoming obstacles, finding joy, being carefree. Energy, power, aura, depletion. I just was studying energy today. I have some courses that are going to be coming soon that I'm writing right now. I'm writing them based on my studies and I was definitely talking about energy today. Call your energy back to you. Um, I was talking about energy as it relates to electricity um, and your aura is an electromagnetic field. So the fact that they have aura on here makes a lot of sense. Your aura can attract things to you. Okay, so now that you have those people that didn't mean you well out of your energy, out of your aura, your aura is attracting your soul tribe to you. You're emitting light. You're emitting the same vibrational frequency that other people that have the same mindset that you have also are emitting, okay? So you're attracting like attracts like, okay? Um, you've learned the lessons that you needed to learn from the people in your past, okay? Because something within you did attract those people to mirror something that was within your subconscious mind, okay? So whatever that is, you've done the shadow work to work on it. You are, that's why you're kind of feeling like, I don't need this person anymore, because you don't. So now you're attracting a new set of people. Um, I do not... I'm not underestimating my own magic anymore. Exactly. <laughs> magic, power, beginnings, transformation. For some of you, you never really underestimated your magic. You just underrepresented it. You didn't want people to know how powerful you were. And some of you still don't. I don't recommend letting people know how powerful you are. Surprise people, okay? <laughs> they don't need to know. They don't need to know. 
when people underestimate you that gives you an advantage okay but you need to make sure you're not underestimating yourself that's the main thing We have the portal. Are you ready? You have portals opening. Remember, we kept getting four of wands, which that's the card of 1111. And 1111 represents portals being open, spiritual portals, new opportunities. We have you are so brave to keep on going the way you do. The forbidden forest, bravery, persistence, and redemption. The awakened dead, all things that almost broke me were the things that most awoke me, okay? The, um, resilience, nirvana, self-appreciation. Like I said, you appreciate yourself a lot more now. You're standing in your confidence, in your power. Um, you recognize how brave, how strong, how resilient you've been. And to be able to come out pretty much unscathed or look in the way that you do, that's just a testament to how positive you have been throughout all of your trials and tribulations, okay? By the way, I do have an extra one of these decks. I have a few decks that I have extras. So if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So once I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be giving away the extra decks that I have. This is one of them. So if you like this deck, make sure you're subscribed. Um, this is another one of the decks that I'm going to be giving away. So let's go ahead and use this in the reading so you can see if you like it or not. But this is on my YouTube, Capricorn Moon Goddess YouTube, okay? So if you're watching on, in, on TikTok, I'm not anywhere close to a thousand on TikTok yet. But if you're watching on TikTok, you can go to my YouTube channel to subscribe. So that way, once I get to a thousand, because I'm like 20, 20 something away from being at a thousand, um, you can be notified about the giveaway and how to enter. So I think I have like four decks right now that I'm going to be giving away. Plus I have a lot of other things. I make candles, skincare products, hair care products, journals, oracle decks, actual decks, not like these cards that I had, but I actually have decks that are printed. I've got candle making books. I've got all kind of stuff. So make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube if you want to be alerted to the giveaways and stuff. I have more time to discuss this stuff on YouTube because TikTok is limited to 10 minutes. <sighs> We've got another word with a witch on here. Somebody's doing magic against all. Witches gathering. Gather and power come together and grace. Unity is rising and will be embraced. So yeah, you guys have soul tribes that are coming in and you're going to be powerful because all of you are powerful on your own already because you've done the shadow work. You don't need a coven you don't need a soul tribe you can operate on your own but you recognize the power of numbers also elderberries 13 this there it is there it is knowing within bone allow it to guide you there it is a knowing within bone allow it to guide you okay so this is talking about your intuition some sort of inner knowing about something someone um, or your next steps that you need to take. We have Crow 11, which also represents a portal, right? You could be Life Path 11s also. Pay close attention to the winds. There's a message making its way. I told y'all earlier a message was coming to you to expose some folks. Okay. Coming of darkness. All the light is all the light is dimming. Life is withering at the core. Are you ready? what we don't have to read this in the book because what <laughs> hold on <laughs> let's see what this say i ain't even about i'm just gonna look to see before i say my opinion because i'm like why keywords prepping coming of darkness this could be preparing yourself for how somebody's gonna react to something, how somebody might retaliate against you and making sure you don't 
put yourself or allow them to get you in a situation where you end up in trouble or something like that. It says, your higher self chose this car because a storm is about to hit and it's a warning to take steps now to prepare for darker times ahead. All cycles must come to an end. I've been saying that. It's common to hear the phase, and this too shall pass in reference to difficult situations. Rarely, however, is this advice given for good times. Perhaps it's critical to enjoy periods of abundance, happiness, but it's also important to remember that the good cycles of life will also pass at some point. The tables will turn. I feel like this is a message more so for the people that are trying to work against the against you then for you they know this darkness is coming because you are removing yourself and by removing yourself you're removing the light okay so they know this darkness is coming they're trying to they don't want to prepare for it actually i was going to say they're trying to prepare they're not trying to prepare for it they're trying to prevent it by calling you back uh drawing you back in somehow okay so yeah somebody's I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say that part. Never mind. Somebody got a lot of stuff that's going to be going on because you decided to remove yourself. And now that you removed yourself, um, their karma can start because your, your guides didn't really want their karma to like affect you. So now that you, they had some form of protection by being around you. Now that you gone and you removed your light, like their protection is gone and the reaper is coming dang for the birth of something new to manifest the death of something holding you back is inevitable yes you are ending anything that is holding you back you're done you are done fire cider dwell in the medicine that exists to protect the spirit you're protected though you are protected but you taking your protection away from them harvest witch what sacrifices have you made for the greater vision of what is to be your sacrifices was having to let go of people that you honestly had love for it's not like you hated these people darkness falls wow with within you live the hidden the things that want nothing more than to swallow you whole I feel like um, you have addressed these though you've addressed the shadows within you which is why I said you did need to meet this person because the purpose of you meeting them was for them to mirror the darkness that was inside of you, the shadows that were inside of you. So you could recognize that they were there and work on them. Now that you've done the shadow work, that's why this cycle is closing with this person. And this person also had the opportunity to, the same opportunity you had to do the shadow work because you were mirroring each other at one point, they also had the same opportunity, but they chose not to evolve. So, they can't move with you. And I was just looking at this St. John's Worth and Marigold. Against your will, there will not be no entrance, no welcoming, be gone. No entrance, entrance no welcoming, be gone. You, These people are not welcome anymore. You know how on uh, the originals and Vampire Diaries, the vampires couldn't get in unless you invited them in? You're not inviting these energy vampires into your home anymore. You're done. You're done. I should just title this, You're Done. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Um, I feel like I've been talking a lot, so this might be the end. How long is this? Yes, um, slightly over an hour. So, we'll end with these cards right here. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do more readings because I have a lot of things I'm working on. But you can continue to book the reading special, the $22.22 pre-recorded reading special. You get to choose the topic, love, money, general, or if you have a specific question, you can ask that. The readings are supposed to be 30 minutes, but most of them have been an hour, okay? So you end up getting a lot of information. It is a private video that you can watch over and over again you can communicate with me on the in the comments of that video only 
me and you can see them. So I've been interacting with people that have purchased readings. They've been leaving me comments. I've been commenting back. So yeah, it's not always going to be 22-22, but I have this up now because I don't have time to or I can't really schedule too many phone readings right now because my schedule is pretty busy so the pre-recorded readings give me at least three days to get your reading out okay so that's why it's cheaper we have fears learning okay so yeah you learn to work through your fears and your shadows The link to get that special is in the description box of the comment section on YouTube and for TikTok. I don't know what you call that page. It's like, I guess, the profile page or something, but there's a link to my website on there and it'll take you to the page where you can see the special, okay? I feel like with this learning and message of forgiveness, you are learning that forgiveness does not mean you have to accept people back into your space. That doesn't mean you have to allow people to be your friend again or be in a relationship with you again. You can forgive somebody and you can still move on. Okay. Message of freedom. Okay. They say forgiveness frees you, but you don't have to stick around. You don't have to keep dealing with somebody. Okay. And people will say you're holding a grudge. No, you're not. I just learned that I don't need to be around you. That's it. It's not me. It's you. Okay. We got the, it's not me. It's not me. It's you. I'm looking for happiness. Happiness is not found within the same space as you. Okay. So I'm going to free myself, but I'm going to forgive you for whatever you did. Reproach. Now that you have taking your light away you've taken your protection away these people are now going to receive their karma they're already receiving it some of them they are being reproached okay <laughs> they are being educated learning a lesson via karma all right not a good way why karma just come out i'm done i'm done i'm done i just said they're learning a lesson via karma why the karma card come out my guides don't be playing they do not be playing okay <laughs> <laughs> they may feel like forgiveness they may feel like you haven't forgiven them because they're going through karma um but it has nothing to do with that the karma is because you freed yourself from them and so now um your guides feel comfortable enough to implement karma on them because you're not being affected by it if you have children the children may be with you um if you're worrying about if this is gonna affect your children it's not but that has been a worry for some of y'all so you have been kind of not wanting or fearful for this person to get karma especially if you have kids with them <sighs> duality they have to learn there's duality you can't just be doing all kind of evil stuff to people especially with no reason like no good reason got the number 11 there okay you're having to learn this duality okay you're having to learn that sometimes people have to get their karma they gotta respect spiritual law you're learning that and sometimes the kids get caught in the crossfire, but it can be even worse if you try to stay in a situation that's toxic. You want to be in a calm situation. You want your kids around calm, burden of tears. You don't want your kids to feel any burdens. I understand that or sadness for some of you who have separated from a spouse and now you don't have your kids don't have a two-parent household you may feel bad about it but it's better for them to grow up in a calm household than a tox a calm household with one parent than a toxic household with two parents okay so this is a warning message of warning we got mirror effect i told y'all they were there to mirror you 
But um, this is a warning that <laughs> don't go back. Or get out if you haven't. Okay? Now, you want to get out safely. So, I understand that sometimes there's planning that goes into that. But I just got the soon card that showed itself. So, some of y'all might want to start making these plans pretty soon if you're still in a toxic situation. But once again, be safe, especially if you have kids. Okay? Some of these people are crazy out here. And if somebody acting like they crazy, believe they're crazy. Don't test them. <laughs> Don't test them, okay? Um. So, yeah, I said I was going to end with those, so I'm going to end it there. So, uh, once again, thank you for taking the time to watch. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. Toodles.